hello, beautiful and powerful women. Welcome to Susan Unleashed. This podcast is for any woman who wants to live a gorgeous life on her terms and who knows that not only is being a woman enough, it is the key to everything. I'm your host, Susan Elizabeth, certified professional coach, number one best-selling author, and Energy Leadership Index Master Practitioner. I fiercely support women who are passionate about elevating their lives while embracing their truest selves. Are you ready to unleash your power? Hello, beautiful and powerful women. Welcome to this week's episode. This is Life Purpose. I love to coach around life purpose when I'm coaching clients who want to either discover their life purpose or who might know what it is but really want to explore it to have some certainty around it. So today we're going to be talking about that and I'm going to be sharing with you some of the questions that I ask my clients and some of the journey that I take them on. So I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, let's get started. So there is a quote by Bishop T.D. Jakes, T.D. Jakes, and it says this, If you can't figure out your purpose, figure out your passion, because your passion will lead you right into your purpose. There's another quote by Mark Twain that goes like this. The two most important days in life are the day you were born and the day you find out your why. That is so cool. I love that. Okay, so life purpose. This is a big one. Um, And I love to go to the place in our lives, and I've done this for myself with my own personal development, but I've done this with um, many clients of mine where we go to the end of our life and we imagine we're at the end, we know our life has come to an end and we're in our last moments and we're still fully aware. And, you know, don't let this scare you. Don't let it be like, I can't believe she's talking about that. But it's just an honest conversation around, I don't want to get to the end of my life and realize I got it wrong, or I didn't live fully in my purpose, or maybe I should have done that, or maybe I should have done this. Really looking back and not having any regrets for the way you lived life, loved, and the way you showed up for your life. So that's a little bit about what today's episode is. So it's kind of a serious topic because so many people feel like they're passing through lives and they don't really know their purpose or maybe they haven't spent the time or invested in their time to discover it and explore that. So I want to share share a little bit with you because I really hold the perspective that life is such a gift. You know, and, and as I've moved through life and I've experienced you know heartbreak and loss and loss could be in the form of, you know, losing a relationship with somebody or losing somebody to a death um, or whatever else that is and when you really experience your life and as you move through it you really realize that life is precious it's a gift and it is not to be taken for granted you know and you think of people who maybe had terminal illnesses and you know it's the one thing they would wish for more of is more time and more life right so I used to think my life purpose was about achieving and doing and performing and achieving the next level. But after many years of doing and achieving and realizing I didn't have more happiness, true happiness at those levels that I was achieving at or operating at or having more stuff, I really learned that life is about being and about experiencing all of life and the moments in life and the love that I've had in my life. So it's experiencing life and love and having gratitude for that in my life. And it's really about those deeper appreciations for all of the blessings in life and of life, right? So it's not, it's, I've realized it's not what I do, it's how I do life. It's who am I being while I'm showing up for my life And I'm putting my value and my gifts and talents out in the world and I'm receiving what I'm receiving in return for those. So it's not just a means to justify a means. It's how do we experience life and create meaning in everything that we do? So 
what I've realized what I've really wanted and what I've discovered my clients really want is that it's a deeper meaning in our lives. It's a sense of purpose and it's having value and being valued and it's experiencing true love because love is something that you can't put a price on it and you can't quantify it. Like, how do you know it's love? I mean, how do you measure it, right? But if you were to never experience love again and somebody told you they would pay you all the money in the world to never experience love again, I mean, how would you answer that? And I think we all really want is a deep purpose, a deep sense of meaning. You know, are we coming here? Are we living the life that we're really truly meant to live? And are we getting the most out of life, you know, and the experiences of it? So we really want this sense of purpose and the sense of value. And I like to take my clients on a journey to connect with their deeper selves and their deepest desires and what they're really craving in their life. So we go through and we define their values. Some of them, if I've been working with them for a while and we've already defined their values, um, we'll relook at their values. And if you've never done values work, it's a really cool thing. I learned it from my life coach and then I learned it through my IPEC training, the, the um, schooling where I became certified for being a professional coach. And values are just a really, really cool thing. We'll do a whole, we'll do a whole session on values on another episode. But when we discover our values, we realize those are the, those are the things that drive us that, you know, help us to make the decisions that we do in life and help us to inform, to make decisions. They're like our guiding, our guiding, our guiding North Star in a way is, is our values, our sets of values. So... You can have a goal in your life and you can have things that you want to achieve and there's nothing wrong with that. But when you dig underneath your goal and what that intention is, that's when you can start garnering insights into your life purpose. So we create a vision, we clarify that, we define that, we define what their deepest desires are and what what my clients are really craving in their lives because those are indications that point to things that are maybe some of the reasons why they came here in this lifetime to do what they're doing or they're craving things that maybe they're not doing that they 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 need to be to start doing to feel more fulfilled to feel like they're really living in alignment with what what they came here to do and who they really are so i like to ask my clients um, some empowering questions and empowering questions are not close-ended some sometimes they can be close-ended like yes or no but I like to ask empowering open-ended questions and open-ended questions are questions that is not a yes or no answer they're questions that will lead you to think about things like the whys the what's you know the hows um so some of the questions that I ask my clients are tell me what does more purpose in your life mean to you so that's one of them. And I'm going to ask a series of them here because these are these are some of the questions that I actually take my clients on a journey. And another one is, what do you crave? What are you really craving in your life? Or what are your desires? You know, what are you really desiring? What are you really craving in your life? So we sit with that. Sometimes they journal about it. They might have some success work around that, meaning, you know, think about it, you know, take away journal about it. Let's come back and talk about that. Sometimes we'll name things off right on the spot during one of our coaching sessions or group sessions with people. I love to do group coaching too, because when you listen to somebody else, it's like, oh, that's true for me. Or, or when you listen to somebody, it gets you to think about that for yourself. I also like to ask, what makes you happy? And when you can sit with what makes you happy, there's a joy that comes up. Like you think of all the things that make you happy. These are also pointing you towards things that will indicate what some of your passions are, what you're craving, and maybe you need to do more of. But then I also like to ask what makes you mad as hell? Like what pisses you off? Because that's also going to give you information for maybe what part of your life purpose is or what your life purpose is. It's very, very cool. So when we're also going through the life purpose um, questions, and I have a life purpose tool that I use. Um, it's also in my Secrets of Savoir Faire Living course as well. We cover life purpose, and I have a life purpose tool in there. 
but um, really interesting if you want access to that or if you want to do one-on-one coaching, you know, by all means, I am here for you. But when we, we look inward, when I do one-on-one coaching with my clients, you know, we'll do strengths work, we'll do the values work, I'll even do the ELI assessments, which is the Energy Leadership Index Assessment. Very, very cool tool that's going to give you information about how you're showing up for life and then how you're showing up under stress for life. And it's just, it's, it's all about self-awareness. All these tools are about self-awareness. Um, and then, you know, these things are going to lead you to your interests, your passions. Um, and then, you know, it'll, it'll enable you to imagine the possibilities that you have in your life too. Some other questions I like to ask are, what does the world need from you? What does the world really need for you? Because think of it, you came here to live life with your own unique self, the way you do things, your own gifts, your own talents. And so the world, you came here to offer these things. The world needs these things for you. So what does the world need from you? And what is it that you have to offer this world? Very cool. And if you had all the time and money in the world, what would you really be doing? That's a big one because so many people think they're stuck in their jobs. They don't have enough time. They don't have enough money. You know, they need to keep doing the same thing over and over. But really, if you had all the time and money in the world and you stepped back, what would you really be doing? And then sometimes if I, if I have a client who really bites on that, we find a way to create their lives in a way that will we'll give a plan and we'll we'll create steps on how to get them into that. We'll shift them into that. Sometimes it's a career change, a job change, could be a relationship change. And we'll get the client living into alignment with the life they really want to live and do what they really want to do. And it will give them more meaning each day. And when you have that meaning in your life, that is how you know you're getting evidence and feedback for how you're living in your purpose. And you're, you're enjoying your passions. You know, things are so much more meaningful, right? So another question I like to ask is, who do you want to be? Not what do you do for a living? Who do you want to be? And are you living her each day, each week, each month, each year? And that is a wonderful, wonderful teacher when you can sit in the question of that. And then when I ask my clients questions about when you're doing something, what is the feeling you get? Because that's a big thing is feelings, right? When you get the feedback and the emotional response, like this is good, I'm living in alignment. It feels good to be doing what I'm doing. Because when you're doing something that doesn't feel good, you know you're not living in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm not talking about the hard stuff, the little things that are meant for our growth, you know, another growth opportunity. Like we all know, let's be real here, we all know in our guts when we know we're supposed to be doing something and maybe we're not supposed to be doing something. And another thing I like to ask is, what do you really dream about? And this kind of ties back to what our desires are, what are we craving, and, you know, who we are being in our lives and how we are choosing to live our life is our choice. We get to live in choice. We are given free will in this lifetime. And when we live in choice, there's a freedom in that choice. And we get to choose and design any life that we want, any life. If I want to be somebody different tomorrow, I'm going to start working on that. I'm going to I'm going to be I'm going to be different. I'm going to do different things. I'm going to make different choices. We all have the freedom to be who we want to be in this lifetime and do what we want to do. And so when we start getting clarity around some of the life purpose, we take where we're at and then I ask if you were to start today, what would it take to get to the vision you want? What were the what would be the next very little next step that you would take to start walking towards your vision for your life purpose? Again, once we have clarity around that, because you can't, you know, you, you need to get that clarity first and then you just start taking an action step and then you're gonna get feedback and then you take a different step or you take another step. And 
you know, as we go through this, I love, you know, the life plan tool and the miracle question as I go through the coaching, um, you know, when you start getting that clarity and when you start looking at your life purpose and you start asking yourself these questions and journaling in them and meditating or whatever that looks like for you as, as you're doing this, you have that clarity and you feel, you feel so much better about the way you're showing up for your life. Like, okay, now I'm not missing out on my life or what I sh- I'm meant to be doing in this lifetime. Does that make sense? Are you with me? Because sometimes I know life purpose can be like a really heavy or big thing and a big deal to many, many people because they haven't done that work. Other times it's like, well, I think I know my life purpose and I'm not sure. I hope some of these questions can start either opening you to the possibilities or shifting you really into the direction or deeper into the direction you might already be going. So yeah, life purpose. I, I've, really, I've really come to know that my life purpose is to experience all of life, to get as much out of life as I can, like all of my life, and to contribute all of my gifts and talents, bring them to the world and experience all of life and to love deeply. It's that simple. That is my life purpose. Really that simple. And I have such clarity around that. So as I show up each day, I'm going out, I'm living life, I'm showing up fully, and I'm experiencing all of it, all of it. Yes, there's painful moments. Yes, there's challenging moments. But man, I tell you, there are some amazing, amazing life moments, some beautiful moments. So that's it for this episode. I can't wait to hear your feedback. I I would really love to work with you on life purpose. It's something I'm really passionate about. Um, So yeah, until the next episode, I hope you have a great week. And, you know, please use these questions. Listen to this again. Use the questions to really journal, meditate, whatever your processes that you have. Please, this this is here for you, for all of us to really step into who we are who we are being, who we are loving, and how we are showing up and experiencing life. Okay, until next time. Au revoir. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, I would love it if you would leave me a review or share it with someone else who may enjoy it too. To stay connected with me, please head on over to SusanElizabethCoaching.com And make sure that you sign up for my tips on how to live an unleashed life full of passion and purpose. Until next time, go live an unleashed life.